What enduring qualities do you think make the 1968 movie 2001 a space odyssey and everlasting symbol of the industry? Do you have a cherished memory associated with this film? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. 2001 A Space Odyssey, directed by Stanley Kubrick, stands as an iconic masterpiece in the realm of cinematic history. Its profound impact on the industry and the enduring qualities that have etched it into the collective consciousness of film enthusiasts make it a fascinating subject of discussion. What sets this movie apart from others is not just its groundbreaking visual effects or memorable score, but its ability to spark introspection. It raises questions about humanity's place in the universe, the evolution of artificial intelligence, and the enigmatic nature of space itself. These themes are the threads that have woven this movie into the fabric of timeless cinema. For many, 2001 A Space Odyssey is not just a film, but a cherished memory. Whether it's the first time they experienced its awe-inspiring visuals, the intense sense of curiosity it ignited, or the thought-provoking conversations it sparked, these personal connections make the movie even more special. So, what's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this movie? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. In the 1968 movie 2001, A Space Odyssey, a remarkable cinematic achievement was brought to life. One of the standout moments in the film is the space ride at its climax. To create this visually stunning sequence, Douglas Trumbull combined aerial footage of Monument Valley, Utah, originally shot for another film, with a split-scan effect he invented. This effect involved moving the light source toward the camera while keeping the shutter open, resulting in mesmerizing light patterns. Interestingly, this innovative technique has since become a standard tool for movie editing available in off-the-shelf software for over two decades. Astronomer Carl Sagan, known for his deep understanding of space and extraterrestrial life, was consulted by Sir Arthur C. Clarke and Stanley Kubrick for the film. Sagan proposed that rather than depicting extraterrestrial intelligence in a humanoid form, the film should suggest it, avoiding any element of falseness. He attended the premiere and was pleased that his insights had been helpful in shaping the film's portrayal of advanced extraterrestrial life. Another intriguing aspect of the movie can be found in its sequel, 2010, The Year We Make Contact. Although the famous line, my god, it's full of stars, was never actually said in 2001, it is present in the novel. This novel line was spoken by David Bowman before he entered the Stargate, expressing the awe and wonder of the cosmic phenomenon. These fascinating details offer insights into the creative process and the impact of 2001, a space odyssey in the world of cinema and science fiction. It remains a testament to the enduring legacy of this iconic film. Stanley Kubrick, the director of the 1968 movie 2001, a space odyssey, had a keen eye for authenticity in every aspect of his film. This commitment to detail extended to the voices heard in the movie. Frank Miller, a former member of the U.S. Air Force and a real mission controller, was enlisted to provide the mission control voice. Miller's authentic voice made him the ideal choice, but he faced a challenge during recording. He was nervous and couldn't help but tap his foot, causing an unwanted tapping sound on the audio tracks. Hubrick's solution was simple yet effective. He placed a towel under Miller's feet and allowed him to tap away without hindrance. This dedication to realism wasn't limited to the actors' voices. In the iconic Dawn of Man sequence, actors were chosen to portray Australopithecines, early human ancestors. These actors were primarily mimes and dancers, selected for their thin arms, legs, and narrow hips. The reason behind this choice was Kubrick's concern that adding fur to the actors might make them look like actors in low-budget gorilla suits. Even the children of the Australopithecine tribe were played by two baby chimpanzees, adding to the authenticity of the scenes. One more noteworthy detail about 2001, A Space Odyssey, is the approach taken with the special effects. All of the special effects footage had to be printed on the original negatives. 
Kubrick's rationale was that using copies of the negatives would harm the visual quality of the effects shots, emphasizing his commitment to preserving the film's visual excellence. In conclusion, Stanley Kubrick's attention to authenticity and detail in 2001, a space odyssey extended to the voices, the actors' physical characteristics, and the preservation of special effects footage. These choices contributed to the film's lasting impact and status as a cinematic masterpiece. In the making of the 1968 movie 2001, A Space Odyssey, director Stanley Kubrick faced various challenges. One notable fact is that Kubrick calculated that it would take one person 13 years to hand draw and paint all the mats needed to insert the assorted spacecraft into the starry backgrounds. To overcome this, he hired 12 people and completed the task in just one year. This meticulous attention to detail was a significant aspect of the film's success, contributing to its stunning visual effects and portrayal of space travel. The film's visual effects, particularly its portrayal of space, left a lasting impact on the science fiction genre in cinema. It's no wonder that 2001 The Space Odyssey is often lauded for its groundbreaking special effects and innovative approach to depicting space travel. The dedication and creativity of the team behind these effects played a pivotal role in creating a cinematic masterpiece that continues to captivate audiences to this day. 2001 A Space Odyssey, the 1968 movie directed by Stanley Kubrick, was originally intended as a roadshow release. This meant it would have had an overture, an intermission, and exit music, all accompanied by curtain warmers. Additionally, there was supposed to be a 35mm black and white prologue featuring interviews with experts discussing the possibilities of off-Earth biology. However, although the overture, intermission, and exit music were eventually omitted, the film still had an intermission. When Kubrick discovered this, he not only specified where the intermission should occur, but also had the film's composer create specific music for it. He even insisted that the theater be plunged into darkness for a minute before the film resumed. This level of attention to detail reflects Kubrick's dedication to his craft and his desire to create a unique cinematic experience. This film is highly regarded and has received numerous accolades over the years. In Sight and Sound's 2012 critics poll, it was voted as the sixth greatest film of all time. Its influence on the science fiction genre and its iconic imagery continue to captivate audiences. 2001, A Space Odyssey's impact on technology even extended to legal battles. During a dispute with Apple over the design of the iPad, Samson tried to argue that its Galaxy tablet didn't infringe on Apple's design because it resembled the tablet-like devices Dave and Frank used during their meals in the movie. While this argument was ultimately unsuccessful, it underscores the film's enduring influence on the portrayal of future technology. In conclusion, 2001 A Space Odyssey is a landmark film known for its meticulous attention to detail, critical acclaim, and lasting impact on both filmmaking and technology. As we near the conclusion of our journey through the enigmatic depths of 2001, A Space Odyssey, I invite you to ponder the profound impact this cinematic masterpiece has had on your personal odyssey through life. This iconic 1968 film, directed by the visionary Stanley Kubrick, has transcended time and space, much like its own narrative, leaving indelible imprints on the minds of those who've embarked on its mesmerizing voyage. Perhaps you were struck by the film's ethereal portrayal of the cosmos, the mesmerizing ballet of spacecraft set to Strauss Blue Danube Waltz, or the chilling presence of the monolithic monoliths. Maybe you found yourself grappling with the inscrutable AI entity, HAL 9000, as it grappled with its own existence, evoking questions about the nature of humanity and artificial intelligence. As you reflect on your personal connection with 2001, A Space Odyssey, I encourage you to share your favorite memories, thoughts, and revelations that this cinematic odyssey has ignited within you. Whether it's the haunting silence of the void, the enigmatic ending in the realm of the star child, or the eternal quest for meaning in the face of the infinite. Your insights are the stardust that enriches this enduring masterpiece. Thank you for joining us on this contemplative voyage through 2001, A Space Odyssey, a film that continues to inspire and intrigue generations. Your time and interest are deeply appreciated, and we look forward to hearing your thoughts and memories. Until our paths cross again, keep exploring the mysteries of the cosmos, and keep the spirit of discovery alive.